Good morning Guernsey on this beautiful sunny day. We were lucky the weather was on our side and we were able to anchor off the bay of St Peter Port which will enable us to get the tender to shore. This can be a bit challenging if the weather is a little bit windy as the ships sometimes are unable to, to anchor due to the high winds but thankfully for us today we had good weather on our side. So going ashore can be a little bit challenging by tender. Here you can see the steps that we had to go down to get onto the tender to go to shore. The tender service was operated not only by the ship's own tenders but also by a local agent with their own vessel. It's so lovely to see the ship when you're on the tender, look back and see the side of the ship, how big she is up close. It's, uh, it's a great, great view. So once ashore in St Peter Port, we made our way into the car park just where the tender service will drop you off to meet our guide and driver of the local Guernsey Tuk Tuk tours. And for £30 per person, two people can have a lovely little jolly around the island and see the sights of Guernsey and some of the fabulous views also of St Peter Port. As you can see, they're quite nippy little things. It was really good fun. Local driver, full of local knowledge. The views really are beautiful. And it's so lovely seeing the ship anchored in the bay. In 1795, the last duel in Guernsey was held right on this path. It was over an argument about the national anthem and one person not standing up. A bit crazy. And here we go down the really narrow road on this little tuk crook. It's uh, very good for negotiating these back roads. We asked to visit the little chapel in Guernsey, which is modelled on the Basilica in Lourdes. It's a beautiful little church, only 16 feet by 9 feet. From 1913, brother Diodat Antoine had a vision to build this little church. The one you see here is actually the third one that's been built as the previous two were demolished. In 1939 poor health forced him back to France and he never actually saw the finished chapel. But brother Cephas took on the responsibility and completed the chapel that is there today. It is adorned in broken pieces of beautiful china and shells. 
the chapel is under ongoing repair as sections always need to be renewed and replaced and happy to receive any unique bits of china if you wanted to have your antique teapot in place in this little chapel. There's lots of lovely little pieces that are challenges to find as well so children can go around and find Spider-Man or see if they can finish little challenges like treasure hunts within the walls. It's really pretty. Kathy found one of her dinner sets, or a piece of it, in the wall that she remembered from having some time ago. It does make you really stop and look and think, oh, I had one like that. That was something that we used to have with our tea. It's really pretty. We wanted to see a beach next, so we stopped at Petit Beau. beautiful bay. Safe for swimming, kayaking, it's a stony beach, but as you can see it's quite a nice little bay. And there's our little tuk-tuk, pucked up waiting for us. A really nice itinerary actually and a, and a really knowledgeable guide. We had a lot of fun. He dropped us back in the town. We could do a bit of shopping, grab a coffee, have some lunch. And uh, if you know St Peter Port, you know it's quite a British looking town. Bunting and familiar shops that you'll know from home. Great tourist board, right where the tender service port is, plus you have lots of local tourist board representatives wearing tabards, easy to spot, that will point you in the right direction for anything you want to see or do in Guernsey. There are city bikes in the town if you want to go off and explore independently, also you can find taxis and there is a very good bus service but just be aware that the buses can be busy during school uh, school runs in the morning and in the afternoon so if you're heading inland be sure you plan your day properly if you want to go and visit the little church or a little bit further away off the beaten track just be mindful the buses can be busier as you can see we had the local port authority tender service back to the ship so it's two stories quite a few steps to manoeuvre so just be mindful if you need help going ashore with push chairs or wheelchairs but it was a lovely sail back to the ship great views over the harbour we really did have a lovely day in Guernsey for more information of the Tuk Tuk ride it's www.tuktukguernsey.co.uk